Hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you taking time out of y'all's busy schedule to stop in and see what else I'm up to. I am down here. I'm gonna have me some dinner. Sitting on the bank of the Intracoastal Waterway. Down here in Jacksonville, Florida. First off, I thought I would do a taste test. Now my eight-year-old grand brat picked this one out for me. We, I go to his house on Mondays. We usually stop and get ice cream or whatnot. And he wanted me to try a, a new a new pepper sauce. So we're getting around to that. This is crushed Scotch bonnet peppers. I don't know if you can see in there. This stuff looks like it's crushed jalap or crushed Scotch bonnet peppers. It looks thick. It stopped moving. <laughs> it's a pretty color though, isn't it? My goodness. Man, when that light hits it, whoa. So, uh, I've been looking forward to this one for a while. Well, a couple weeks anyway, since he picked it out. They sure do have it wrapped up tight. Uh, there's no little shaker thingy. Whoa. I don't know. Ooh. It barely moves. <laughs> It looks like paste. Wow. Mmm. There's a real citric hit to this. I need my other glasses. I need to read what's on this. Ooh. It definitely tipped. Tickles your tongue. Hey Sam. Uh, let's see. Scotch bonnet right there at the top. Scotch bonnet, hot pepper, cane vinegar, water, salt, onion. Uh, doesn't say anything about anything citric. Citrus e. Not a whole lot. There's a pepper seed in there. Oh, wow. Ooh, wee. Man, that's good. Let's try this if we can. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to come out. Folks, that is literally a paste. This is no this is not a sauce. This is literally ground up habanero pepper or, or scotch scotch bonnet peppers. Crushed scotch bonnet pepper sauce. This isn't a sauce, people. Sauce you can strain, sauce you can pour. That doesn't pour. Whoops, it will fall off the spoon. <laughs> Oh wow, it's all, it's all the meat of the pepper, the seed, <coughs> spur tree Jamaican crushed, spot, crushed scotch bonnet pepper. <coughs> Only the finest ripe Jamaican Scotch bonnet peppers are used in this 
authentic hot pepper sauce used sparingly to spice up your favorite foods. Shake well before using. I'm going to try and shake it up again. See if that makes any difference. Not really. <laughs> ah. I'm going to take the end of the spoon and get some out. Oh man, this stuff is good. Still has that. There's a citric taste to it. Citrusy. But it's not overwhelmingly hot. It's definitely letting me know that I've had some pepper. Uh, there's the Florida Marine Patrol. I stopped at Jersey Mike's. <clears throat> when that runs down the back of your throat, it lets you know it's there. It grabs a hold of you. Jersey Mike's is a Hoagie Steak Shop started out in New Jersey. There several of them down here around Jacksonville. This is called the Big Kahuna. And I thought it was kind of appropriate. I mean, okay, that's Hawaiian. And this is Jamaica, but now this has uh, jalapeno pepper and that's spoon go. It says jalapeno pepper and habaneros, or no, jalapeno pepper, green and green pepper and fried onions cheese and they're supposed to leave out the mushrooms I hope they did because I don't like mushrooms now, I'm a big proponent that if you're gonna try a hot sauce then you need to try it on something that you eat because that's how you usually eat it right I mean I would do a part partial shooter of this but it's thick. It's like unbelievably thick. So I'm going to put it on my sandwich like that. Yeah, it's all, all in there. All that golden goodness. Mm. Yeah, it's definitely in there. I got to put on some of this red. Need some more vegetables. Do some of this liquid tomato. It's got my tongue talking. This isn't like some of the hot, hot, hot sauces. 
it's definitely up there. My scotch bonnet is hotter than habanero. Yeah, maybe about the same level. It was way, it's way above jalapeno. Mmm. They didn't give me a napkin. Luckily, I bring my own. Mm. Sometimes I think the best part of any sandwich, even if you get something that like Wendy's. It's the cheese that runs off the sandwich. That's good. Mm-mm-mm. This is messy. <laughs> hmm. There's a little bit of a breeze coming through here. It's still hot. It's still in the upper 90s. Hmm. I'd like to be able to pour a little bit of this right on the sandwich where I go to take a bite. But again, it doesn't pour. All right, there we go. Just shake it out. Yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. Hmm. 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 My whole mouth going. I swallow goes right on down. Get my nose running a little bit. Maybe more than a little bit. I'm breaking a sweat, not just from the heat, not just from the the air temperature, I should say. I watch other people do hot sauce and pepper reviews and they get all dancing and screaming and chugging down water and milk and all kinds of stuff. And I don't understand it. I guess because I like hot peppers. Uh, there's a, there's a lot, some of you out there I know that you're probably watching, Jay. <laughs> mm. There's no way. There's no way the old Miss would have sat next to me with that bottle open. <laughs> ah.
Wow. That's a big sandwich. It was only, it was under $10. I say only. Today that's not a bad price. I remember when they used to be like five dollars for a good sized cheesesteak. But I'm telling my age. <laughs> not that it's any big mystery. Oh, there we go. It's starting to pour a little bit. Uh, today was the last day of school. May 31st. They go back, I think, the second week in August. Strange schedule. What's even strange? What, what I found really strange was they had to do a half a day today. The last day of school. I mean, they don't do anything. And it wasn't even really a half a day. It was. It's like 9 o'clock to noon. <laughs> like, seriously? You bring the kids in for three days worth of school? Or three hours worth of school? I guess because they get paid by the state or whatever. And you have to have a certain number number of days or a certain number of hours. But I know the car line was a lot shorter than I expected. I do believe I'm going to eat the whole thing. Come on. Come on. There we go. Come on. Oh, man. That is so chunky. Those peppers. I don't know what that citric taste is. It doesn't say anything about it. I guess scotch bonnets are a little citrusy. <sighs> I got my mouth going. My lips are burning. Don't know why. Mmm. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Here we go. Special shout out to my buddy KJ. Oh, that was a good sauce, buddy. Whew. It is a good sauce. I'm going to buy that some more. Mm. 
Y'all can see. <laughs> you saw me open that and the bottle was full. Ah. Anyway, let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs down or a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Wherever it is, y'all leave comments on your internet access device of choice. If you'd like to share me around on your social media, that'd be fandoculous. If you'd like to check me out on Facebook, oh, excuse me, Instagram or Twitter, I'll have links in the description box wherever it happens to be on your device of choice. You'll also find links to similar videos. And you'll find my snail mail and my email. If you want to send me something super awesome like more hot sauce. <laughs> uh, Mad Dog 357 25th anniversary. This stuff will light you up. <coughs> Cancer is a serious disease, people. It doesn't care if you're young or old, rich or poor, male or female. It's going to rock your world. It's going to rock the world of the people around you. I know a couple of y'all are out there dealing with it right now. Pinky and her son. I can't. Sorry, Clint. Cliff. Breast cancer is most prevalent in women. Although it can affect men, it can affect children. It's usually presents in the breast, but it can be anywhere. It could feel like a small grain of sand under the skin. It could be a, a thickening patch on the on the skin. It could be an area that just itches. So many different ways. If something doesn't feel right, talk to your doctor. If your loved ones are nearby, give them a kiss and a hug. If they're not, give them a call. Hit them up on Facebook. Let them know you think about them. Let them know you love them. Oh, excuse me. We ain't promised tomorrow, people. We ain't promised our next breath. Until I see y'all again, I hope you have a fandoculous day. Slaunchy, y'all. Ah. Bye-bye. Let's see one last shot of the intracoastal and the bridge. I know he's coming through. Where did he go? There he is. <laughs> Bye, y'all.